Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll show you how I made these multicolored keychains in Fusion 360. So, to find the image, we're going to start at Google. And so, I have decided that I'm going to make another uh, shield keychain. So, I'm going to find shield, and you know, first thing, obviously, I have no ability to spell, but also, most of them are going to be normal shield, so you might have to specify Marvel, you know. And then, you'll start to get images that are closer to what you want. For this, you're going to want something that is very high contrast, you know, black and white. Something like this is perfect. So, for both of them you're going to save image as. And just save it to your downloads. Now, convert image to SVG. So, just choose a file. Hit start conversion and then just download. Now you have the SVG. Now open Fusion 360. The first thing to do is not importing the SVG, it's actually to create a sketch with just a line that's about 50 millimeters. It's somewhere around the length that I want my final keychain to be scaled at. Now, Insert, insert SVG, choose that face, open up that file, and this is where the fun stuff starts. So you have to scale it, and then move it, eventually till you get it to be about close enough to whatever measurements you had down. So I think that's almost close enough. That that should be that should be fine. Now I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to make sure all of the faces are selectable and it's not broken. Now, all you have to do is just start by selecting everything. Going down about 1.5 millimeters, we'll say. Show the sketch, hide the other sketch, and then extrude the actual features of it. So, the more space that you have on this is going to give you a lot more time to actually pause the print. So I'm going to set it about 1.5, we'll say. That should be good. I'll make a sketch on the bottom. Go on top. Make a circle. Say about five millimeters. You can make it as large as you want. Say maybe seven millimeters. Then offset. Say 1.5 because you want it to be strong, but then not too thick. Oops. And then just extrude. You can set it to like different heights if you're doing even more colors if you want it in a certain color. But we'll say about negative two or two millimeters should be thick enough for this. You could always beef it up. I'm going to start adding some 
fillets to it to add some more strength. And then now you have your finished keychain. Now you can rinse and repeat for about as many keychains as you want to make. Now sometimes what happens is you're not able to select an object. Like it's always connected to a different case that's not supposed to be connected to. The reason this happens is the path is incomplete. And it's supposed to connect somewhere, but it just doesn't. In this case, you have to zoom in, find basically every point, see where it's not connecting, and then manually connect it with the line. It can get extremely, extremely tedious. Alrighty, thank you all for watching that video. Remember, if you liked it, please leave a like. If you didn't like it, I'm fine if you dislike it. Just tell me why you didn't like it in the comments down below. If you want to help me out, hit that subscribe button. It costs you nothing. If you want to help me out a little more, take a look at my Patreon. I understand if you don't want to support me there, but if you can, it'd be amazing. And as always, keep on printing.